Hello, people of the internet. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and happy Monday to you all. Hope your week is off to a great start as a helicopter decides to enter the airspace around my building, but that's a okay. We move on, anyways. This is very exciting for me because we get to check out an artist that I have yet to cover on the channel who has been around for a little while and who I almost watched like grow up in a way because of course she was a member of IOI back in the day. This is Miss John Sumi who has having a comeback after so long it feels like. I think it's almost been two years. It's like technically two or one year and like ten months or nine months something like that since we got XOXO a little while ago and now Sumi is Back with brand new music, not just the title track, Fast Forward, which we're going to be checking out today, but an EP to go along with it, which we will also be listening to later today if it isn't out already. Oh, this is going to be very interesting. This will be the first era for me that I'm like deep diving into Somi's music. And her title tracks have been very fun to listen to. They've all had a really nice like anthemic nature to them. Especially the recent ones like XOXO and... Oh shoot, what was the other one? Uh, Dum Dum. It's just like very quirky, very charming. And it's a good time. And I'm really hoping Fast Forward can be much the same way. So, here we go. Now, two years is a long time. Sound can involve people mature, people change. So let's see how musically different this one is from her previous era. Here we go. voguing moment again the second time around. Okay. Long build. Oh, we got an even more instrumental parts, okay. Fast forward. Is that how it ends? Oh, that, that flew by. That was so fast. Hey, we're not, we're not setting someone's house on fire this time, are we? <laughs> Oh, 
Ha! Huh? Oh, now that, that was a party. That was not what I was expecting. Actually, I don't even know what I was expecting out of a Sony release, but that was a lot of fun. It kind of took me back to like um, EDM festival type beat, especially that pre-chorus, especially uh, this mo- where is it? This moment where she's like walking out onto the club floor. Flashing lights, flashing lights, and then... Heavy vocal chop chorus beat is not what I had anticipated moving on after that, like, EDM festival pre-chorus. I thought we were going to kind of keep that going. I don't know if I would have preferred one or the other, but I do like that it is taking kind of, like, elements from different EDM genres or, like, little chunks of e different EDM influences and kind of like piece them together one after the other. The voguing part I think is very cool because that's... I'm trying to think back on Somi's discography. I'm pretty sure we haven't had anything like that in her music before. And you know, kind of see, seeing an artist do some a sound that maybe we haven't quite heard of before or seen before is always going to be an exciting time because it's going to be fresh. And... You know, not many people are doing voguing type music nowadays, so in that department. That slap is so good. That moment is just so sassy, so confident. I, lo I, I love it. I think it's like energy wise and attitude wise is exactly I think what this song needed and what this song asked for. And she pulls it off so well. That stop, that musical break, that very small moment of musical silence is so perfect. It's like... The words of the lyrics drive the song. I love a little connection like that. Musical silence is very cool. It's a way to add a sudden moment of contrast to the song, right? You got this nice beat, nice clubby beat. We got, we got some talk singing going on. Then all of a sudden, one, stop, everything cuts away. Your ears immediately perk up to that. Your brain immediately thinks, oh, what's going to happen? Brings the attention back to the song. And then, well... And the fact that we go back into that EDM festival beat again, we don't go into a second verse right away. We go back into a pre-chorus. And I think that's so interesting. It's so different. That voguing section very much comes across like a post-chorus. But in fact, I think... By technicality, that's the second verse. And it does not feel like a second verse at all. And that, to me, is very interesting. When... I don't even know how many songs I've listened to at this point. But when a song and how it's been composed and arranged makes me think... And, like, when I mean think, I mean, like, really think about how the song's been pieced together. Like, what part of the song we're at. Why it feels like... A certain way and why in actuality it's different when i have to analytically think on that level that is a sign of a good song for me because like sure an easy to listen to song is great but when i have to think i find little bits and pieces that i wouldn't have caught otherwise this is great i genuinely am very confused at how they've managed to sneak in that verse This very much comes across as a post-chorus. 
but this is a verse. Now we're back to the post or pre chorus. Fast forward. And then we're back into the chorus again. Whoa. That's cool. That's very cool. Oh. I'm trying to think of other times when I've listened to a song and felt that you know, a part of the song felt like something else. Because that second verse is so creative and it's so different. And it's written in a way where it doesn't feel like a chorus or a verse at all. Oh. It's also one of the reasons why this song f goes by so quick is because that second verse doesn't feel like one. So it feels like we never got a second verse to begin with. Oh, that's so interesting. How have they managed to do that? Huh. I'm gonna let that one marinate a little bit because that's kind of blown my mind a little bit. Ooh. But I'm impressed. I'm impressed. The vibes are great. And it makes me want to get up and move along with it. So, plus marks in that regard. But that is it from me today. At least with the title track. Force album list will be coming later if it isn't out already. So keep your eyes peeled for that if you're interested. But that is it from me today, everybody. Thank you all for watching along with me. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did. One last request from me today. Let us work together as a community to bring a little bit of extra happiness back into the world. Whether it be checking in with your friends and family, holding the door open for somebody, even picking up a piece of trash off the street. Just one small act of kindness that may bring up someone else's day to day. Know that wherever you are in the world, should you ever be going through a tough time in your life, for whatever reason it may be, even though I'm just some guy in the internet who waffles about music in his free time, know that I will always be a friend, how I, and a shoulder to lean on whenever you need me. So take care of yourselves, take care of each other, spread the love, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.